All right, chapter 16. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil, and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you, and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will tell you what you shall do, and you shall anoint unto me him whom I name unto you. And Samuel did that which the Lord spoke, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the city came to meet him, trembling, and said, Comest you peaceably? And he said, Peaceably I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. And it come to pass, when they were come, that he beheld Eliab, and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or in the height of his stature, because I have rejected him, for it is not as a man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shema to pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this. And Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all your children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with withal of beautiful eyes and goodly to look upon. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Now the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord terrified him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God terrifieth you. Let our Lord now command your servants that are before you to seek out a man who is skillful player on the harp. And it shall be, when the evil spirit from God cometh upon you, that he shall play with his hand, and you shall be well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the young men, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is skillful in playing, and a mighty man of valor, and a man of war, and a prudent in affairs, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David your son, who is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul, and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray you, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took the harp and played it with his hand. So Saul found relief, and it was well with him, and the, evil's dis and the evil spirit departed from him. Okay, let's go back up here to verse 1. Now we'll remember last chapter, the Saul had went out against Amalek, the Amalekites, and he had conquered and brought back their king, and Saul had Samuel had slain the Agag, but Saul had messed up in allowing the people to take of the booty when God had ordered that everything be destroyed, and God had rejected Saul yesterday, or in the last chapter, as being king, and that's where we're picking it up, verse one. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him? From being king over Israel, fill your horn with oil, and go, and I will send you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. 
So now God's telling Samuel, he says, how long are you going to cry for Saul, seeing I've rejected him for, as being a king? Because Samuel's been praying for Saul, because he's praying for the kingdom of Israel by praying for Saul, that Saul received the wisdom of God and, and be able to lead Israel. And God's telling Samuel, how long are you going to mourn for Saul? Because I've rejected him from being king. Now get your horn and fill it with oil and go down to Jesse's, the Bethlehemite, and I, I provided me a king of one of his sons. And the Bethlehemite, we know, is the house of bread. And Jesse means prominent or to stand out. Verse 2, And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And we'll remember, Saul had grabbed a hold of Samuel and tore his, his garment. And Samuel's old. He's, he's an old man. And he's scared of Saul because Saul's a young man and he's, he's, he's a very big man. And Samuel's scared of him. And he's asked the Lord, What shall I do? Because if, if Saul hears I'm going down, he's going to kill me. And God tells him, you take a heifer with you and say, I'm come to sacrifice to the Lord. So he's going to take a heifer and he's going to go down. And he's going to make a sacrifice to God. Three, and call Jesse to the sacrifice and I will tell you what you shall do and you shall anoint unto me him whom I name unto you. So God's instruction is, do you go down to Jesse's to, and make a sacrifice and I'll tell you there who you will anoint. Four, and Samuel did that which the Lord spoke and came to Bethlehem and the elders of the city came to meet him trembling and said comest you peaceably so Samuel's gone down to Bethlehem house of bread and he's uh, when he's come there the elders come out to meet him and they're scared they're, they, they're wondering why Samuel's come down here there's something wrong and they ask him if he's come in peace and he said Peaceably, I'm come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Verse 5. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. So he says, yeah, I've come in peace. And he says, I've come to make a sacrifice. And he calls Jesse and all his sons. And he sanctifies Jesse and his house. So he sets them to the side so that he calls them out. Six. And it came to pass when they were come that... He beheld Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. So when they got to Jesse's, he, he seen Eliab. He probably the oldest son of Jesse. Eliab means ascends to the father. He says, Surely this is the Lord's anointed, because he was probably a, a nice-looking young lad. 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or in the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For it is not as a man sees, for the man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So he's telling Samuel, no, 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 this ain't him. Don't look at the way he looks or how tall he is, because I have rejected him. For it's not as you could, will see and what is pleasing to look upon, how, how good looking a man is or how tall he is. For that's the way men see on the outward appearance. But God, he looks on the heart. And God knows everybody's heart. He knows your heart. He knows my heart. He knows everyone's heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, Abinadab, and made him to pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. So Abinadab has passed before God. And this means father in sights, or or father in pals, father in, in pals. And but God says, no, I ain't chosen him either. Nine, then Jesse made Shema to pass by, and he said, neither has the Lord chosen this. And Shema means horrified, astonished. And God says, no, I haven't chosen Shema. And Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. So Jesse's makes all seven of his sons that was there to pass before Samuel. And seven means perfection. God's showing you perfection here. And Samuel said, Eleven, unto Jesse, Are here all your children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, 
And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. No, well, Samuel's asked Jesse now, Is these all the kids? And Jesse says, No, the, my youngest son, he's still out in the field with the sheep. And Samuel's giving him orders to go get him. You know, we ain't going to sit down to eat till he gets here. Twelve, and he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with old beautiful eyes and a goodly to look upon. So David's come now, and, and he's, he's just a ruddy feller. And he's, and he's handsome, and he says he's got beautiful eyes. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him, for this is he. So now God said, This is the one, anoint him. And Samuel took the horn of oil, 13, and anointed him in the midst of the brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. And David means the loved one. So Samuel's anointed David now, and the Spirit of God's come upon David because he realizes he's been anointed. And Samuel's rose up, and he's went back to Ramah. 14. Now the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord terrified him. So we see God's afflicting Saul now. God's going to drive Saul out of the, where he's at through this evil affliction. 15. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from the God terrifieth you. So his servants have noticed he's troubled greatly, and they've told him now, God's terrifying you with this evil spirit. Let our Lord now command your servants, 16, that are before you to seek out a man whom is skillful player on the harp, and it shall be, when the evil spirit from God comes upon you, that he shall play with his hand, and you shall be well. So the servants are telling Saul, hey, let us find this man who can play on the harp, and he'll play for you when this evil spirit comes on you, and you're going to feel better. 17, And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now, man, that can play well, and bring him to me. 17, 18, Then answered one of the young men, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is skillful in playing, and a mighty man of valor, and a man of war, and prudent in affairs, and comely person, and the Lord is with him. So one of the servants of Saul says, Hey, I know just such a man. He's the son of Jesse, and he's the Bethlehemite, and he's a skillful player, and he's a mighty man of valor, and a man of war, and prudent in affairs, and comely person, and the Lord is with him. Well, we know that David at this time is just a young man. He's a, he's a keeper of sheep, and maybe he can play the harp. And he says he's smart. And he's, he's a good-looking fellow. He's a handsome young lad. And 19, Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David your son, who is with the sheep. And so Saul sent, now he sent to Jesse, and he's told him to send me your son, who keeps your sheep. 20, And Jesse took an ass, and laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them with David, his son, unto Saul. So here goes David, he's got his little donkey, and he's loaded him up. He's got some bread on there, just the word of God, and the bottle of wine. This is the spirit God's going to pour out on all the earth. And a kid, this is the sacrifice that's being made. And he sent them to David, his son, and to Saul. 21, and David came to Saul, and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. So David's going to become Saul's armor bearer now. Because he's come to Saul, and Saul has found great favor in him, and he loves David. And Saul sent to Jesse and said, Let David, I pray you, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. Saul has called to Jesse. He says, Let your son David come and, and be with me now, for he, I've, he's found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, 23, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took the harp and played with his hand so Saul found relief and it was well with him and the evil spirit departed from him so every time Saul got to feeling bad David would play his harp and Saul would get relief from this music he would listen and he would be comforted by the music now we're going to find that God's already working David he's already got David up into the palace with Saul He's bringing him in suddenly, 
He's playing music to charm this evil beast. And we're going to find David comes in very subtly and takes over the kingdom. We're going to move on now, chapter 17.